Welcome to the CAC series on animal behavior. This is the chapter on Umfeld. Think about all of the things we see, hear, smell, taste, and touch throughout the day. How might the perception of the world be different for other species? This point is essential to the study of animal behavior because a failure to understand how an organism perceives the world would limit our ability to understand the organism itself. Since every sensory system is different, we must never assume that an animal perceives exactly what we perceive. One of the biggest challenges in animal behavior is attempting to understand another organism's umfeld, or its sensory perceptual world. For instance, this is how a dog might see this scene. Dogs have less visual acuity than humans, so they have more blurry vision. They are also dichromatic, meaning that they have only two types of color-sensitive cone cells in their retinas. This is how we would see the same scene. In the first place, humans have greater visual acuity than dogs. And we have trichromatic color vision. So we perceive a clear picture and a wider range of colors than dogs do. On the other hand, birds of prey like hawks or eagles might see this scene like this. They have even greater visual acuity than humans. Their vision is actually four times as sharp as a human with perfect eyesight. Pollinators like bees can actually see ultraviolet light. So while a flower may look like this to us, a bee perceives ultraviolet color patterns which attract it to the flower. These are colors that we cannot perceive at all. And vision isn't the only sensory system where this lesson applies. Although it is one of our most used senses, other animals may be more sensitive to other types of information in the environment, like chemical cues. So even though dogs may not be able to perceive some of what we can see with our eyes, they can perceive so many things that we cannot through their sense of smell. The part of the brain that is used to identify smells is actually 40 times larger in dogs than in humans. And it is estimated that their sense of smell is a thousand times better than ours. Thus, we think that their perceptual world, their umwelt, is largely dominated by olfactory information. Similar to a dog's world of smell, the beluga whale's umwelt could be described as a sea of sound. In their dark underwater environment, Neither excellent vision nor smell would be particularly useful. Instead, they use a wide variety of chirps, whistles, and trills to communicate with one another. And they use echolocation to locate objects by sensing sound waves bouncing off of them. These are just a few examples of how we can begin to understand the umwelt of other organisms. This is such a challenging part of the study of animal behavior because we are too often tempted to be trapped in our own umfelts, to assume that other organisms perceive the world exactly the way we do. In order to truly understand an animal's behavior, we need to break away from that assumption and work to understand how it perceives the world. If we want to understand the other species with whom we share the planet, we need to widen our understanding of the world itself and recognize the diversity of perceptual worlds in the animal kingdom. <laughs>